River Road High School teacher is in the running for Teacher of the Year for Texas. She is one of six finalists, and while she says she is blessed to be nominated, KMR Local 4's Meredith Avery learned from district leaders the honor that's well deserved. That is some good news for you tonight. I'm the person standing up here, but there is this huge group of people behind me who every day make me better. High school math teacher Jennifer Garner is only in her second year at River Road High School, but she's already making quite an impact. This year, she's one of six finalists for Teacher of the Year in Texas. I'm very grateful for it. I'm very blessed to love my job. Every day I'm excited to come to school. The students make things so wonderful. Like there's very few days I don't get up and think I want to go to school. Um, I want to represent us. I want the state to see how wonderful we are. So many times people forget we're up here, that we are a reckoning force, that our kids are doing amazing things, and I want to be able to showcase what both our students and our teachers are doing to the whole state. Assistant Superintendent Andy Neese says Garner's positive outlook and vision are some of the reasons why she was chosen. Uh, she is an extraordinary teacher, um, very much outside the box. Uh, the way she teaches, she's not traditional, and just whatever it takes to, to get the kids to learn, she'll do it. Not only is Niece appreciative of Miss Garner's work as an administrator, but as a parent whose son was in her class last year. She's wonderful with the kids. She loves the kids. She has a true loving for all the students. As a parent, I was very pleased with everything that was going on in the classroom. Garner doesn't want to jump the gun, so she wouldn't talk about what it would be like to win the award, but she says what every teacher hopes for is to know they're doing a good job. So to all the teachers out there, thank you for your amazing work, and to Ms. Garner, good luck. In studio, Meredith Avery for KAMR Local 4 News. The state will announce the winners in a special luncheon in Austin on October 25th. If she does win, she'll go on to represent Texas at the national competition.